Hi, I'm David Sofer, and today I'll be going through an overview of Cisco Intersight's VMware Cloud Foundation or VCF Operations Management Pack. VCF Operations was previously known as ARIA Operations. So my screenshots and a lot of the documentation will refer to ARIA Operations. Uh, there's more information on installation and how to get the ARIA Operations OVA from Broadcom in the links provided in the description and from intersight.com slash help. So once I've installed that ARIA operations VM from an OVA, uh, I'll need to go in and add a cloud proxy. The Intersight management pack requires a cloud proxy. So from ARIA operations, I'll go to administration, cloud proxies, and add my proxy. Um, on number four there, you see the unique registration key that'll be needed when I go in and actually install the OVA. So I'll need to copy that to the clipboard. And then I'll go deploy my cloud proxy OVA. So I'm in vCenter and I'll deploy that template, select my OVA, and I'll go through typical VM configuration, including where to place it, accepting the license agreement. Configuration, a small cloud proxy would typically be fine, but you can customize any of these as needed for your environment. Uh, storage setup, networking, um, I'll be setting up static networking here. And then when I get into the customized template, this is where I will paste in that unique registration key. I set up the naming and any other settings needed for this cloud proxy. And then I get to the middle of the screen there where I will specify a load balancer IP or host name. Um, this is the host name or IP of your ARIA operations VM. Um, so I've just put in that ARIA operations. This is a required step um, in setting up the cloud proxy. Finish out the rest of the network settings uh, and then I can review all those properties where I customize the template to ensure those are correct and I'm ready to deploy my VM. Once that VM is deployed back in ARIA operations um, I can check that this cloud proxy is online as soon as that shows online. We're ready to continue on to installing the Intersight Management Pack for BCF operations. And there are links to the download location of the Intersight Management Pack in the description of this video. Once I've downloaded that in ARIA operations, I can go to Integrations and Repository, where I can now add that management pack. A couple options here. Um, this is a signed pack, so you shouldn't need to ignore it. Um, but if you have any issues there, you can ignore the signature checking. And I can click Upload, accept the license agreement, and install. Installation will take a few minutes. And once that's complete, I'm ready to go back in and configure the connection to my Intersight account. RE Operations Integrations, I now have Cisco Intersight available. I can select that and I can go set up my name for my account and that connection to Intersight. I can leave the Intersight domain as it is. And then as shown here for the Intersight Managed Domain IP, I can select specific IPs to monitor or I can keep empty to collect all the domains in the account. So I want to collect all, I'll leave that. Uh, set Verify SSL to true. And now for credential, I'll go in and add a credential. Um, this is an OAuth2 credential. So I'll give it a name. And then I need to go back into Intersight. And in Intersight's setting menu under OAuth2, I can create an OAuth2 client credential. Name that. Give it a description and expiration time if needed. And then I'll go back and uh, enter that client ID, which was presented to me when I created the client uh, credential and the secret, um, which was also uh, given. And I can either copy that to the clipboard or save it to a file. In this environment, I am behind a proxy. So I'll need to set that up so that I can establish that connection out to Intersight. Once I've done that, I can click OK. And then I can go and validate the connection. This is where I'll use that cloud proxy that I set up previously. Uh, take a minute here to validate that. Once that validates, 
I can go in and add this connection to inner site. And to finish out, I'll take a look at the inventory and metrics available um, from inner site. So back in RA Operations Home, I'll go to view the inventory. I see Cisco Intersite there as an inventory source. Um, my chassis information, uh, blades and other server types are available. All of those have been pulled in and there's de detailed inventory available for all of them. And then I've also got um, various FI information, including all the port information. So I'll take a look here at one of my FI uplink ports. That'll give me detailed information on the port. And I've got metrics available. And these are the metrics from Intersight's Metrics Explorer. Uh, but I've got a variety of network information available here. Um, I'll go and select my transmit average. And I see a nice graphical view there. And I can customize these dashboards as needed within ARIA operations. Um, I've also got a view here of alert information coming in. So if I go to operations alerts, I can go and take a look at any alerts coming in on things like my blades. Thank you for your time and please see intersight.com help for more information.